Hi Wrap Candy, this is Sonia again, and this morning I'm just going to show you a really easy and quick way to pick a, co a color palette that you can use to make your own backgrounds. Uh, this is going to be a two-part video. The first part is going to be where I show you how to use the Palette FX. It's a free download program. I've saved it to my favorites. And I also just found a random image online that I really liked the colors in. So I'll show you how to do that and then import it into Wrap Candy. Uh, I have the Color Palette FX brought up. And I'm going to select a photo from my desktop where I've actually put it just now. Um, you can do this with any photos, any images. Um, this is the one I'm going to be using. And if you'll notice, I've got a bunch of different colors in here. I really like this color palette and it shows all of the colors here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my free snipping tool that I got when I purchased my computer and all I'm going to do is drag it across these colors and then save it as uh, the actual name of the patterns of paper that I that I purchased from this one company. So I'm going to name it, call it the Joc Jocelyn palette, save it to my desktop, go ahead and close out of this now and then I'll show you how to import it into Wrap Candy. So you just open up Wrap Candy and I'm going to create a new background. What I like to use is the preset none and I make my width and height the same, 8.0. And once you've done that, you're going to make a background that's 800 by 800. So now I'm going to find my image that I saved and I'm going to go to my desktop and it should be towards the bottom. And once I find it, I'm going to import it just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and move it over. And then I can use my color catch tool and snag every single one of these colors to make my own background with. Now I suggest that if you're doing this, you need to determine whether it's a copyright or not. Because if it is, then you need to ask permission. This is a color palette that I got again from Jocelyn. Uh, I had to purchase her papers and I'm going to make in my next video a stripe background as, we're, as well as a polka dot background. So stick around and look for my next video tutorial. Thank you guys.